Yo, it's Ryan Breezy, and we're back with episode 6 of Pokemon Coliseum. In this episode, we're making our way into that cave there that the guy's guarding to go confront Mirror B and rescue Duking's Plusle. So, first off is that we need to... We have a new team member on the team from last episode. I've replaced Yanma with Mantine so that we can help lower his bar. Since we completed Yanma, I as well start working on the next one. We also have Ombreon in the start of the party until he gets to level 34. Then I'll switch Espeon back in. And let's make our way through it. Mm. Oh, I get it. You guys aren't new recruits. You're just intruders. The guy earlier was too weak for words. How about you? Are you going to keep me amused? So did he beat, um, the guy who was laying on the floor? What's his name? He's got Quillfish and Goldeen. Interesting. And we got our Umbreon and Mantine. Wait, there's a Shadow Pokemon? Quillfish? All right, let's let's get him. I think we can probably bite into the quillfish easily. Should I use quillfish <laughs> instead of mantine? Mantine's a pretty beast of a Pokemon. He he hits for a lot in this game. Didn't happen right there, but I used to use mantine when I like first played this game. I'm pretty sure I used mantine. As my water type. Him with think like, bubble beam was awesome. Keep biting this quillfish. And minimize to raises evasiveness. Ooh. I'll take it. I don't feel like the enemies on the other team are that big of a threat right now. Oh <gasps> That was scary. Poison point. Ouch. Synchronize. Interesting. We're still in hyper mode. Umbreon's poisoned. <laughs> Not good. Uh, let's go into our items and grab a, a great ball. We have 27 of them? Holy cow. And let's call Mantine. See if we can get this Quillfish off the board. Quillfish might be interesting to use. Water poison. E Z. Quillfish sent to the PC. Sends out Lanoon. Calling Mantine. That did not move the bar very much at all. Here comes Horn Attack from Goldeen. This is hit multiple times. We're still getting ripped by the poison. I might teach Umbreon Toxic and get rid of Secret Power. Uh, or Snatch. I'm, I'll get rid of Snatch. Snatch doesn't do damage. Headbutt here comes. Ooh, that did a lot. Mantine flinched. Oh my goodness, you're killing me. Umbreon is doing a lot with that bite. I like it. Mantine's in danger. I might take out Mantine. Ah, screw it. Mudsport. Thank you for wasting your turn. There's no downside if Mantine gets knocked out. We've got a PC in the same building we are. <laughs> There's Goldeen getting knocked out. Not like we're Nuzlocke in this. It doesn't matter if we lose Pokemon. Need him to do as much damage as possible. That poison is wrecking. 
We haven't even been hit like that many times. It's just been the poison taking us down. I think Goldeen attacked Umbreon once. A recoil might knock us out next turn. If it reaches there, it's not. Umbreon with a crit. Knocking out Lanoon. I'm going to go back and heal for sure. That was fun. Was it though? Couldn't imagine that being fun for you. Battling you was fun. So that's good enough for me. If you want to go through, go right ahead. I need to go heal. Get that poison off Umbreon. Back up on the old rooftop. Let's head into the cave for the first time. Still have Umbreon and Mantine out front. Oh. Let's battle her, I guess. Yay, you're finally here! This floor is my territory. I can't leave you through. Street performer Simis. Symes. How do you pronounce that? <laughs> Send out Anareth and Lotad. A water pairing, I think. Is he bug water or bug rock? I don't... We'll find out. Somehow. I don't think we have anything except super... Okay, I'll take that. He'll get his first move back. Don't know what it'll be. Dented half. That's big damage. Water gun. I don't think that was stab at all. That would have done more. <laughs> I think he's bug rock. That did nothing. These guys are weak. Let's knock out the Anorith, call our Mantine so we unlock his first gauge. Hopefully that's enough. It's like right on like the line. Here comes that nasty bite. Picking up the knockout, but she does have one more. Growl. Interesting. Oh, she didn't have a second Pokemon or else it would have got sent in. Well, this is going to be an easy fight then. He did not learn him. I'll take it. Ay ay ay. Uh, well, let's hit him with the bite and call Mantine. Get that'll officially unlock its first gauge. Here comes the bite to pick up the knockout. And there we go. I'm going to level up. I didn't check his... Exp oh, he's nowhere near it. Oopsie, I lost. I think I'm going to use that TM now for Umbreon. You're a surprise, but I'm not telling you where Mirror B's waiting. Let's... Well, Check our bag here. We got Toxic. Let's use it. This is unfortunately a one-time uh, TM. Oh, Espeon can learn it. I'm going to teach it to Umbreon. Let's replace Snatch. I believe. We still don't know what type our secret power is. Get rid of Snatch. Snatch is a weird move. It steals, like, stat moves or something. Do we have any held items we can give? Door potion, burn heal, ice heal. Not really. We don't have any berries. What is this thing? Like a generator? I don't know the correct way to go. What's up? I didn't check that. It's a Pokeball. I'm glad we went this way. Two Hyper Potion. 
Nice. Now let's continue down this way. Whoa. Three ethers. So we go down the stairs. I didn't even consider going down the stairs. I don't know why. Yep, we got another trainer. Let's explore a bit. Anything up here? Nothing. I was mashing the A button, seeing if there was items or something. <laughs> What's going on here? I heard there was one intruder, but there's obviously two of you. Yeah, Chaser M Maz. My ass. Has coughing and rolls. I don't think this is a toxic situation. We can't toxic the coughing and bite is super effective on Ralt, so no reason for that. And Mantine learned supersonic. Let's shadow rush into that coughing. Hopefully, get that at rid. This dude's bulky. We're hit with recoil. Here comes our bite into the Ralts. One hit and let's go. Wasn't even a crit. I mean, at this point, if you're level 31, you're under leveled. Here comes Shroomish. We got Smog coming at, I assume, Mantine? Not gonna assume again. <laughs> We got Shroomish though, that's a threat. Hmm. I'm gonna try out my secret power. I wanna find out what it is. And. I'm gonna switch in Slugma. See if we can get rid of this Shroomish. I believe I secret powered into the coughing. So we have to think what's super effective or. No, not effective against poison. It didn't tell us anything. Neutral against poison. We could try it again in the, into the shroomish. And let's flamethrower shroomish. We know Slugman's going to be the slowest on the field. Nothing against him either. Shroomish flinched. Am I... Am I just messing up secret power for hidden power? Is that what I'm doing? Probably. Um, I'm just gonna secret power again. Uh, we can rock throw? Probably should have just flamethrowered. Poison gases. Misses, thankfully. I didn't want to heal that off. His rock throw is just so weak. It's flamethrower. It's gotta be hidden power that changes moves, right? Another smog, please miss. Thank you. Comes the flamethrower. Flamethrower looks beautiful in this game. And we pick up the W. I don't think I'm gonna even heal my team after that. They did not do much. Your Pokemon are too strong. Got some money. Let's keep on making progress. Raising your Pokemon to those levels must have been a hard struggle. You might be our enemy, but you have my respect. Um, uh, I want to check. Was I right? An attack with effects that vary by location. What does that mean? I have no idea. 
Definitely not hidden power then that changes type. Or it is hidden power that changes type. Not secret power. Um, let's go up. Hold it! Don't think you're going anywhere when you can catch my eye. Raider Twan. Interesting names. Got Meditite and Bagon. Both level 33. That's a tough team here. This might be a toxic time. Into the Bagon. And there's a Shadow Meditite. Yo, I might use that guy. Psychic and fighting? Is he, is he psychic? No. Is he? <laughs> uh, let's, let's toxic the bag on. Let's get rid, get rid of him. I don't want to be dragon raged. Or dragon breathed. Or anything of the nature. Toxic coming off for the first time. Yeah. We really need a toxic, highly defensive Pokemon, not offensive ones like Bagon. If we want Bagon off the field, we don't want to just like sit and let the toxic do the damage. We can still attack into him, but we'll just get the additional toxic chip. I didn't even see the bar move. Bite into Meditite and Shadow Rush into Meditite. Shadow Rush won't do much. Did a lot more than I thought it would. Wait, why'd I bite? Actually, it'd be neutral if even if he was Psychic. If he's just fighting, it won't do much. It was neutral. So he's Psychic type. Umbreon is getting his butt kicked right now. Hit with that recoil. Here comes an Ember. Probably at Umbreon. Why would we attack a water type with a fire move? Here comes that poison. It's doing a little. I wish it would do more. Um, Let's use Umbreon's turn to throw the Great Ball. And we'll Shadow Rush back on. Here we go. First attempt. Can we get him right first try? Once, twice, three times. Let's go. Like, I might put him like permanently on the team. He might be a fun Pokemon to use. Headbutt coming in. This might hurt. Ooh. We do have no mole on the field. Interesting. The toxic's actually starting to rack up. Um, Umbreon needs to bite this bag on, get rid of it. <laughs> Let's call Mantine. Again, I don't think we completed the bar. I think it's right on the line. Here comes that bite to finish the bag on. And we got some smooth sailing against this normal, I think. Unless he uses like Earthquake or Magnitude. That would destroy Umbreon. Oh, uh, secret power. He's in hyper mode again. I'll take it against these easy opponents. When we're going up against like the bosses then it's a lot more annoying. I'm just takedown. That is painful. We're hit with the recoil. Here comes another hyper mode. Let's secret power again and do the exact same thing. <laughs> Call me in time. Guys little wings. Antine is flying type. It's a crit! Which works out perfect. We don't lose a Pokemon and we got the hyper mode off. 
Grr, my Pokemon were shut down. Hopefully there's a healing station somewhere near here. My Pokemon have won a knockout challenge. You're no average trainer for beating them. Is there a PC up here? Wanna say there's one in this cave? Now there's three different paths to go. Oh god. I'm gonna go back all the way back to that building and heal. <laughs> Who knows what'll be going up. Alrighty, we're back and I decided to add Metatite to our team. He is holding the Twisted Spoon to boost Psychic type moves. He is Psychic type and his ability is Pure Power, raising his attack. And he knows Shadow Rush. I was super tempted to put Quillfish on the team. Looking at Quillfish's stats, they were insane. He had here, uh, Metatite has 36 attack. Quillfish had 81. We thought um, Quagsire and Furret were uh, like big hitters. He beat them by over like 30 attack stat. <laughs> and he had super fast speed and even higher defenses than Metatite and stuff. But I chose him for his typing. I think he fits in with our team pretty good. And this might be the team I'm rocking with for a while. It looks pretty, pretty decent if we can get Metatite's bars gone. See what kind of moves he learns. Make our way up. And we did check that path led to a stairwell and this way it led to a trainer. So let's knock out this trainer. If I drop you here, Mirror be sure to give me a reward. You got Hunter Valen. See what kind of Pokemon he has. Oh, this is easy. Lotad and Whismer. Great first battle for our Metatite. Now his item doesn't help us currently. Hopefully in the future it will. Um, let's just double into this Whismer. I think it's a lot bigger threat than the Lotads. Oh my gosh, our Umbreon's good. Yes, I prefer that than doing damage. Get that bar gone. Umbreon's just about to level up. It's huge. Roar. Please don't take out the guy who just went in hyper- Oh my goodness. <laughs> ah, Croconaw got dragged out. Let's knock out Whismer and bring back Metatite. We need to get rid of that. And switching him in will actually lower his bar even further. Let's keep it moving. Nice. He can't roar us out anymore. Watch, it's gonna have another whisper with roar. Just to be a pain in the butt. Umbreon's up to level 34. Here comes Slackoth. Psychoth might have yawn. Here comes another weak absorb. Doing five damage. Still in hyper mode. Let's bite the slack off and call our Meditite. Did about a third. Here comes a huge bite. Hopefully Umbreon learns something like Crunch or something that's stronger. Can't imagine we use Bite the entire game. Here comes Amnesia. Hmm. Let's just get rid of the Slack Off. And Shadow Rush into Lotad. What? How did the first one do so much? Was it Amnesia? Crit one hitting the Lotad. That's the Metatite strength right there. Lagos loafing around. And we're gonna annihilate this guy. Yep. <laughs> He's cool looking. Defeated Valen. No! I'll be punished for this! Never mind getting a reward! 
I'll pretend that I never saw you two. Consider yourself lucky. We did that for an item. Okay. A full heal. Ooh wee. I guess we'll head this way. See if it leads anywhere decent. This looks like it's the way it's to progress. Let's go back and try the other way. I want to make sure I completely clear out every possible way before I progress. What's up here? Okay, nothing down here. Nothing around here. Nothing up here. What the heck is this? Anything over here? Nice and windy. Trainer blocking the path. What do you got for us? Oops, roadblock. This is a note through street. Chaser Rehan. Rehan. Sent out Geodude and Loted. Geodude might be a problem. Could be an opportunity for Toxic. Or we just try and annihilate him. Four Pokemon. Ooh. Screw it. What's Toxic? He might be strong enough where we just want to annihilate him anyway. I don't know what kind of moves he'll have. He's definitely bulky enough for the toxic hyper mode. Ah, oh, that's not good. Thief! Don't steal my spoon. Didn't say anything about my item getting taken away. Okay, we need to get rid of that. Man, that poison did nothing. Let's bite low tad and call Meditite. Hopefully we get that bar gone. It's like right on the line again. Why can't it just go past it so it unlocks? <laughs> Big bite damage. Comes another weak absorb. Doing nothing. Gains a sliver. A tackle. Perfect. Glad you don't have a strong attack. We'll just let that toxic run its course. And let's double into the other slot. Who knows what'll come out here. As long as we damage it, that'll be nice. A snow runt. I think we want to get rid of that. Ah, oh, my goodness, you're killing me. Block. So we can't switch out. Smart doing it to the weak one. Uh, let's bite the snow runt. Call our meditate here. We'll unlock its first move. Making some progress already. Here comes that bite. Hopefully knocking out. Oh, it did half. Here comes another bite. That's gonna do nothing against Umbreon. It would have been neutral against Metatite. Here comes Tackle. Missing! How do you miss Tackle? It's 100% accurate. Calm Mind. Oh my god. <laughs> Kind of counterproductive to your ability, but and you're typing, and it depends what other moves he learns. He doesn't have anything special or special defensive. A slack off. Like his ability boosts physical, but that move boosts special. Well, we'll figure out what kind of moves he learns. Defense curl. That's not going to help you. I'm not attacking you. That did so much. That took out like a good third. Let's finish this off. 
see you, slack off. I mean, Geo Dude's gone, regardless by the toxic or something. Or the Shadow Rush. Big damage. I think that was good use of Toxic. We just let the the bulky, uh, not very offensive Pokemon just whittle down in one of the slots while we just doubled into the other one the whole time. Mirror Bee's unbeatable. You'll lose. You're making progress. Is this the progress way? Oh God. Should I battle this guy? Yeah, this is a dead end just for the item. Let's battle him. Oh. Haha! <laughs> Too bad for you! You're at a dead end! Mirror Beast time! How did I walk past him? I had to talk to him to battle? Bandana guy Noxie coming out with two low tads. I was gonna switch out Metatite. But. Am I even that scared of low tads? He's got four Pokemon though. Let's just attack in. There's no point in running away. Here comes the Shadow Rush. We're gonna take Recoil though. But one of them are out. We're making a little progress. Another low tad. What do you got? Four of them? Using them weak absorbs. Perfect. Let's double again. Bite just does so much. Look at that. I just need him to meditate to do a th oh, come on. Bullet Seed! Haven't seen that yet. This is gonna knock us out. Now it's only doing three. Sweet Scent. Alright. That rate over our evasiveness. Oh, and it hits both people. Perfect. Uh, let's knock out that low tad. Call this Meditite. No matter what, Metatite should not get knocked out this turn. It be it Absorb or Bullet Seed. I'll see like crits with Bullet Seed. That'd be the only way. <laughs> one low ten down. There are two of them. And he's got a fourth one. Comes another sweet scent. No problem for us. We're, they're definitely not going to miss us with minus two evasiveness. It's just Shadow Rush again. Boom! Nice! Picking up the KO. We got a big old one two combo with Bite. Astonish! Interesting. Let's finish this off. Or go into shadow mode, I believe. I would help too. Da. That wraps it up. We're four low tents down. And we didn't <laughs> lose a Pokemon. Perfect. Savaged! Perfect. You! You sure are strong, but you're no match for Mirror B. Ha ha ha! See what kind of item we got here. Three Ultra Balls. Woo! I think that's gonna wrap up the episode. I'm gonna go heal. And we'll pick up in the next episode, chasing up after Mirror B. I think I'm going to stick with my team. 
think Meditite's doing all right. But we'll pick up back at that top stairwell that led down to that water area. And I'll see you guys for episode six. See ya.